What is good, YouTube? What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Mobile, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to record videos slash stream to YouTube, Switch, Twitch, or Facebook on iOS devices. This, this includes iPhones and iPads and any other iOS device. So, I don't know if they work on iPods, probably not, but you can check. I'm pretty sure they might actually work on iPods. So, you have to do the new update. So, if you don't have the new update, you want to go to General, Software Update, and it should show you the update. But if you, but if your thing is already updated, it will say iOS 11.1.2. So, yeah. So, basically, you need iOS 11. So, first thing you want to do is you go to the Control Center, press Customize Controls, and Screen Recording will be on More Controls, and you want to press Plus to that. So... Let me show you guys. So, if I had the Apple TV remote and I removed it, if I never used it, it would be there. I press the plus and it's on include now. So, that's how you do that right there. That's the first thing you want to do. And then, you want to swipe up to get to the control center. And it should look like this. Or it's on the bottom. And you, there should be a recording thing. You can hold it to see if you want to stop your recording and have your Microsoft... Your microphone audio on or off. It does record game audio, so don't have your game audio too loud unless they won't be able to hear your voice. So that's if you just want to record videos. And when you stop your recording, it automatically saves it to your photos. So don't worry about that. Next, if you want to stream, you want to go to the App Store and download Omelet Arcade. Let me press open for this. So you see it's open right now. It will, it will ask you to do some stuff. If you have an account, do it. And then you want to press go live. And when you press go live, you have a bunch of options. You can choose your game or anything like that. But how you get your YouTube channel, as you see, Mr. Mobile, and that's my profile pic and everything, you press next. And when you press next, it should say something about your YouTube account. And then you put your email and password into your YouTube account, and then, and then it'll say you're all good. So, basically, that's what you want to do. And then, after that, when you try to go live, you put next. This is your title. Well, first, choose your game. So, I got NBA Live Mobile, so you can choose whatever game you want. It doesn't really matter what game you choose. And then you want to do your quality. I have it on 480 because this iPad isn't like the newest one, but it's not the oldest one. So do it according to what device you have. If you have like an iPhone 5, don't try to do like 720p or something. And it already has live message notifications, meaning you'll get notifications when people chat. But you can also stream on Omelet, Twitch, and Facebook. So this is how it will look if you're not signed in. So look, if I press next... It's not letting me because I'm recording, but when you press next, it'll tell you. Oh, see, here you go. You It would say this, and then you put start now. So that's how you do that right there. But I already did it for YouTube. I still have a Twitch account. So after you're done with all that, press next, choose your title, all that good stuff. And then you want to press home, go to your control center again. And when you hold it, it should say I'm an arcade like it does now. And then you want to press Almond Arcade, turn on your microphone audio, and say start broadcasting. And as soon as you start, on the, on the top, like, look, you see your screen recording video saved to photos. But on the top, it'll say broadcast has started on YouTube. That's when you know. Then comments will start coming down the top of your screen like this, like, like their messages. And then you'll get all, all your comments. So this is just a, a mini guide on how to do it. I hope I hope this guy I hope this helped you. Why am I stuttering? So yeah, you can go into any game, do anything. It's very cool that iOS 11 finally added it. And yeah, thank y'all for watching. And in the comment section, tell me if this helped you guys. See y'all.